All right, good morning, boys and girls. This is Monday morning. Um, let's look at today's warm up. It says Tyrell read 30 pages each day for six days. On the seventh day, Tyrell read 45 more pages to finish the book. How many pages were in Tyrell's book? I give you two minutes to solve this problem. Tyrell read 30 pages each day for six days. On the seventh day, Tyrell read 45 more pages to finish the book. How many pages were in Tyrell's book? And about 20 more seconds. Oh, oh my God. Get my cap off my marker. <laughs> All right, Tyrell read 30 pages for six days. All right, I'm writing out what I know. Four, six days. So that means he read, day one, he read 30 pages. Day two, he read 30 pages. Day three, he read 30 pages. He read on day four, and how many pages did he read? He read 30. Day five, he read 30. And day six, he read 30 pages, all right? On the seventh day, Tyrell read 45 more pages to finish the book. So he read seven days, and on the seventh day, he read 45 pages. So how do we figure out how many pages were in Tyrell's book? Well, right now I see one, two, three, four, five, six equal groups with 30 in each. So six times 30, well, if I know six times three is hmm, 18, all I do is carry the zero, 180. And then I just need to add that seventh day to it, so add 45. So 180, 180, ooh, plus, we're just gonna do this a little weird, 45. 80 plus 40 is 120, plus five is 125, plus 100 is 225. So somewhere on here, it's not big enough. 225 pages is the answer. All right, um, give me just a second to record. Warm up too. Today's warm up. For his birthday, Ethan got eight cards that each had $20 inside. If he donates $47 to the animal shelter, how much money does Ethan have left from his birthday? Again, I'll give you two minutes to solve this problem. For his birthday, Ethan got eight cards that each had $20 inside. If he donates $47 to the animal shelter, how much money does Ethan have left from his birthday?
Bentley. All right, about 10 more seconds, boys and girls. All right, so if Ethan got eight cards, he got one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm picturing Ethan getting those eight cards for his birthday, and he's probably really excited. And then he opens them up and finds out that each card had $20 inside. So that means this one had 20, this one had 20. All of these cards had $20 inside. Each and every one of them. So, he then decides that, you know what, he got a good amount of money. How much money did he get? So he got eight cards, that's eight groups, with 20 in each. So it's eight times 20. Eight times two is 16. You carry that zero down because it's really two tens, not just two, he got $160. He was really excited about that. So it says if he donates $47 to the animal shelter, so he's got $160 and he donates 47. Hmm. If he's donating money, what is it he's going to be doing? He's just gonna be giving them money, all right, just to be kind. So if he's giving them money, then we are going to be subtracting because he doesn't have it anymore and he's donating $47. So zero minus seven, we can't do it. So we go over, to, oop, yep. So we go over to our tens and can they help us out? They can. So they give us a 10 and the zero becomes 10 and the 10 becomes 50. 10 minus seven is three. 50 minus 40 is 10. 100 minus nothing is 100. 100 plus 10 plus three is 113 is how much money he has left. Do we see that as an answer choice? Yes, I do. Answer choice A. Give me just a second to erase my board. For today's learning, guys, I can find um, more than one expression to solve a word problem that uses multiplication and division. So for the show what you know, I want you to use the get triangle to come up with all the equations involving these numbers. See what you can come up with. What equations can you create using these same numbers? You can't use anything else. There should not be a 27 minus three equals 24 because there's not a 24 anywhere in here. You can only use those three numbers, create all the equations possible. You can't do 27 plus three equals 30 because it does, but 30 is not my other number here. So I can only use nine, three, and 27. I'll give you about two minutes. Possibly you're listening to my dog drinking all his water too. In about 30 more seconds remembering I gave you the hint of using the get triangle so go ahead and make sure you've got that get triangle drawn and then look at the different equations that you can come up with so you should at minimum have drawn your get triangle
All right. So if I'm going to draw my get triangle, I'm going to try and draw small so I don't take up all this whiteboard. Here's my get triangle. And I know that it's going to help me get to an answer. G, E, T. All right. And on the sides, we divide. And right down here at the bottom, we multiply. All right. If my numbers are 27, 3, and 9, those are the numbers I want to put in here. Well, I know that my total is always the biggest number. So 27 is going to go right there. And then remember we can either, it could be three groups of nine or nine groups of three, so it doesn't really matter. So three and nine. So different equations I could come up with. 27 divided by three will give me nine. 27 divided by 9 will give me 3. 3 times 9 is 27. 9 times 3 is 27. So there are my four equations, my like fact families, that I could have come up with using my get triangle. Give me one more minute to erase the board. All right. First problem of the day. Thomas has 42 pictures to put in a photo album. He wants to put them on seven different pages. Which of the following equations can be used to determine the number of photos on each page? All right, I'm thinking about this. Thomas has 42 pictures to put in a photo album. He wants to put them on seven different pages. He wants to put them on seven different pages. So he's got 42 pictures and he wants to put them on seven different pages. Which of the following equations can be used to determine the number of photos on each page? He's got 42 photos, that's it. That's all he's got, he doesn't have any more, any less, so that is his total, guys. 42 total, and he wants to share these 42 essentially. He wants to put them on seven different pages. So I normally would just do 42 divided by seven to figure out how many are on each um, page. But when I look over here, do I see that as an answer choice? I don't, but that doesn't mean that I'm wrong. It just means then I need to find another equation that can get me that exact same answer. So 42 is my total. Seven pages are my groups. How many are on each? I don't know. So let's set up that get triangle. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the camera and do this at the same time. So 42 divided by seven didn't show up. Let's do 42 divided by something. 42 divided by something equals seven. Do I see that? Nope, don't see a division sign at all. All right, let's try seven times something equals 42. Seven times something equals 42. I knew I saw that, that one's over there at D. So the answer to this problem is D. All right, and if we look at your practice for today, I've got it right in front of me. That problem is very similar to the first problem you are going to be solving, problem number nine. So if you're having trouble with problem number nine, come back and watch this part of the video. All right, let's look at, let me record again. Looking at our next problem, which equation can be used to find the missing number in 12 divided by n equals three? So I wanna figure out how to find 12 divided by n equals three, and I wanna find the missing number. 12 divided by n equals three. All right, so I'm gonna put that in my get triangle. So G, E, T, gonna get to that answer. Put the division signs where they need to go, your multiplication sign, and I know that when I divide, my total is always in the beginning. So there's my total. And I divide by the number of groups and that gives me how many are in each. So I have 12 divided by some amount of groups gives me three 
n each. All right, so how do I figure out what n is? Well, 12 divided by something equals three is what we had. So let's try 12 divided by three equals something. 12 divided by three equals something. 12 divided by three equals something. Let's see if it's over here. Oop, I got nothing that starts with 12, and that is my total, especially with the division problem. So C is out. C doesn't work. All right. So let's do something times 3 equals 12. Something times 3 equals 12. Mm, I don't see that one. All right. What about 3 times something equals 12? 3 times something gives me 12. 3 times something will give me my total of 12. Ooh, I see that right there at answer choice D. So once again, D is going to be our answer. And if I'm looking to figure out which problem that can help me with on my practice today, that would be question number 11. All right, so your third problem you would do, you would do the first one, the second one, and then the third one. And that will help you with that one. All right, so let me erase my board. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm missing the camera people today. All right. Jenny applies to 48 auditions over eight days. She applies to the same amount each day. Which auditions she hit? I'm sorry. Which equation can be used to find the number of auditions she applies to each day? So I'll read it one more time because I struggled. Jenny applies to 48 auditions over eight days. She applies to the same amount each day. Which equation can be used to find the number of auditions she applies to each day? All right, so I'm thinking about this again. Jenny applies to 48 auditions over eight days. So in eight days, she goes to 48 different auditions total. All right, so 48 is my total. Eight days, that's our groups. Because again, the question says, how many does she apply to each day? So I'm looking for that each. I don't know it. All right, so if I set this up in that get triangle, that helps us out every single time. G, E, T. All right. I know that my total is 48 because that's how many total auditions she went to. I know that she did that in eight days, which are my groups in this situation. And I wanna know how many she did on each day. So I put my division symbols where they need to go and my multiplication symbol where it needs to go. And I go back over here and I see, I've gotta figure out which equation works. And answer choice A says one only. Answer choice two, B says one and three only. Answer choice D says one and four only. And answer choice C, which I skipped, sorry, says one, two, and four. All right, so we gotta figure that out. So, let's see. 48 divided by something would give me eight. Let's see, 48 divided by something. And they're using their something as A for how many auditions. So we'll say 48 divided by A, so we can look like them, equals eight. Do I see that? 48 divided by A equals eight. I don't, I see three says A divided by 48, but if I know that a division sign, a division equation starts with my total, and I know 48's my total, then answer choice three automatically should be out. All right, so answer choice three is out, out, which means that answer choice B should be out. So now we're between A, C, and D. So our answer choice options left are A, C, and D. Okay, so 48 divided by A equals eight. 48 divided by eight equals A. 48 divided by eight equals A. Do I see that? Oh, I do. Number one. Okay, perfect. So I works. And let's see. All of them had I as an option, so we're still at A, C, and D as our options. Let's see what else we can do. Eight times A equals 48. Eight times A equals 48. 
8 times A equals 48. 8 times A equals 48? 8. Oh, perfect. Answer choice 2 gives me that. And do I see any answer choices that have that? I do. C. And C only has one other, it has another thing that goes with it. It's the only one that's got two. And it's got one more. So hopefully four works. Four says A times eight equals 48. Can I do that? A times eight to get 48? I can. A times eight equals 48. So answer choice one, two, and four are our answers, and that goes along with answer choice C. So C was our correct answer. Looking at the next and last problem of our day, give me one moment to erase the board. Sorry, and if you needed help, uh, if that one was tough, that one will help you with question number 16 for today's practice. All right, <clears throat> last problem. Which set of expressions belongs to the same fact family? A, four times four and 16 divided by three. B, eight times five and five divided by 40. C, seven times three and 21 divided by three. D, six times six and 36 divided by 36. Okay, so I know that a fact family means that all these answers should be, all these um, numbers should be the same in their fact family. So four times four, let's see if I do four times four. What is my answer to four times four? Four groups with four in each, four, eight, 12, 16. So then my fact family, because when I multiply is totals at the end is 16 is my total four groups with four in each. Can I get 16 divided by three when I look at this get triangle in this fact family? I don't even have a three in there. There is no way. So A is out. All right, let's look at B. Eight times five and five divided by 40. Eight times five. Eight groups, one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, with five in each, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Eight times five is 40. And when I multiply, my total is at the end. So I have eight groups with five in each. Make that get triangle. 40 is my total, eight groups with five in each. So can I do five divided by 40? Remember, when we are dividing, if I'm using this symbol, I have to start at the top. So I can't do five divided by 40, I would have to do 40 divided by five. So B does not work. You have to, if I'm dividing, I have to share the biggest number first. I cannot start with a small number and share it. All right, so C, seven times three and 21 divided by three. Hold on, let me erase that one. So C is our answer. Seven times three is seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with three in each, three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 7 times 3 is 21. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to put that in my get triangle, and I know that when I multiply, my total is at the end. So 21 is my total. 7 groups with 3 in each. Setting up my triangle. All right. So it says, can I do 21 divided by three? Can I do 21 divided by three? 21 is my total divided by three. Yes, I can. So I think C is my answer. Let's do our D just because I should have put my thinking dot there. Just can't write on this, my computer. Um, 
But let's do D because we're good mathematicians and we go through every answer choice. Six times six. Six times six is six groups. Oops. With six in each, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. All right, so six times six is 36. Remember, when I multiply, my total is what I get at the end. I get the bigger number at the end when I multiply. So 36 is my total with six groups and six in each. Divide, multiply. All right, so it says six divided by 36. Can I do that? Remember when I divide, where must I start? with my total. So can I do six divided by 36? I cannot. So the answer is C. Now boys and girls, when you are done today, you are going to go to where it says March 30th, Math OA6 review questions. You are going to click on that link. You are going to type your first name and your last name in this blank. So that way, if you are a Kevin or a Jose or a Steven, we know which Steven or Kevin or Jose you are. Anyone else also, it's just good practice. All right, you answer all of your answer choices. You're gonna hit next. I'm gonna put test, just to practice and show you. And I need to put an answer choice for everything. I am not going to get them all right because the answer choice is not all A. So just to show you. All right, it's gonna say congrats, you rocked, but guys, you are not done when you do that. It says click submit to finish. I don't see submit on this page. Scroll down, there is the word submit. And then I get, it says your response has been recorded, which means Miss Flint, Miss Austin, or Miss Allen, or Miss Allen received your score. And you can see your score also if you click that button, view score. All right, have a good day.